Hi, I'm Ken Bibri, a Democratic candidate for City Council. Today's conversation is with Joe Bolanos, a community leader here on the Upper West Side, and we're talking about rats. All right, Joe, thanks for making the time to talk to us. Nice we're, to uh, see you, Ken. We're here on 76th Street. You're the Block Association president. Tell us a little bit about the Block. Uh, the Block is located between uh, Columbus and Central Park West, Columbus Avenue. It's West 76th Street, and it's a landmark block in a historic district. And what's the top issue we're dealing with on our block this year? This year it would be probably the rat invasion that's pretty much taken over the west side and particularly on our block we've had a lot of problems. So this is one of those things like you know we've been standing at street corners, subway stations and one of the top things I always hear about is about rats and I'm always bringing up the story about last summer when you made the rat crossing signs. Well actually you know it's funny because according to the Department of Health construction sites do not cause a vermin problem. We noticed that there was a propagation of rats throughout the block because of one particular construction site, and it got so out of hand that I figured it was time to do something. And what it basically came down to is making a sign that, or in this case, three signs that we posted, and it got international attention. Talk about some of the attention. I mean, did you expect any of that to really happen? No, not at all. The media attention that it drew kind of um, drew a lot of attention to the construction site, and subsequently they addressed it finally after two and a half years of ignoring it. There was a big story, I guess, a couple of months ago that said that the Upper West Side has had the most calls to 311 about rat crossing or about rats in the neighborhood. Yes. You know, as someone who's running for city council now, what kind of advice do you have? Like, what can the city do to address the rat situation? I think that it's time to have a department that just addresses vermin control throughout the city. And secondly, there has to be a very, very vast and very focused uh, um, attention on the, on the existing policies where it's okay to put out garbage at night at 6 or 7 p.m. And again, it gets picked up 12 to 13 hours the next morning. So if you're going to put garbage out, usually with pl in plastic bags, you're creating a buffet for rats, and you're not going to come close to, to, to solving the problem in any manner until you address that. So there's shared responsibilities, right? Like individuals, we as residents need to do a better job of bagging stuff, putting yes. it, making sure lids are on top of trash cans. Yes. But then also landlords need to time it properly. But if the city's collecting 12 hours later, then you're, the root of the problem is still there. One of the things I started seeing a lot more of on the Upper West Side are these uh, solar compactor trash cans. We have one right on 77th and Columbus, and I think they're going to put one in Verde Square, which will compact like commercial trash on the corners. Mm -hmm. I mean, have you seen any of those things? Do you think that would, you know, address the the commercial problem with rats? Um, I think I think it's a band aid, yeah. and I think it's anything that you do that's different mm -hmm. uh, is a positive step. Yeah. How effective? Time will tell. Mm -hmm. So as a resident of the, of the block or anywhere on the Upper West Side of the city, if you see a rat, what you, should you do? Well, if you see a rat, you should, you should call the Department of Health and report the sighting and, more importantly, what the location is because chances are if, if and when they send somebody out, whenever that is, they can start looking for boroughs. And again, according to DOH, Department of Health, if you see a borough, each borough uh, usually represents anywhere from four to eight rats. So, again, containment, eradication of uh, control of trash, and you could probably be effective about 90% in the eradication. Well, I certainly don't think it's because of choice, but you've obviously become an expert on the Upper West Side when it comes to dealing with the rat problem. So, Joe, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to us about this. Great, Ken. And we'll see you on the block. My pleasure. Thanks, nice talking to you.